So there are some exercises you should do every day with your dog, but all of these might come as a surprise. So let's see what those are. Number one, searching. Give your dog something to do for the nose. So any form of enrichment where your dog has to use his or her nose. That makes your dog happy and relaxed for your day, for your week, for whatever you have planned next. The second one is train stay. And you can combine that with the first one, right? Because you can use the stay for any search game you want. And it gives you more options for the searches themselves. And a stay is not that tricky to train. You just need small stops and a very nice reward. And the searches can actually be that reward. For the third thing, we are coming closer to the walks and the outside light. And the last point will be what you actually need for going outside immediately. But number three is strategies. And I combined that point because strategies can be anything. It can be anything you need your dog to know before you come across a difficult situation. So if you have issues with having guests over, your dog needs to have a ritual for that situation. If you have trouble with your dog whenever your dog sees another dog on leash, your dog needs a strategy for that situation. And whatever situation you need a strategy for, you need to train it beforehand. Because if you train it beforehand, your dog will have practice and practice and practice and will default to that strategy more likely than if you just want to train in the situation itself. Way harder. So do this at home. And it can even be something as easy as pick up some treats I scattered on the ground. Because that will take your dog's nose down, it will stretch your neck, and it will calm your dog down. And that is useful for a lot of situations, right? So it can be something easy. It can also be, and that's actually number five on our list, look at me. Like you're doing right now, I want my dog to know that this actually brings him a reward. I want my dog to know that looking at me is beneficial for him. And again, I can use that in a variety of situations. So tell me in the comments if your dog already has a look cue. I would love to know because it's something that I teach very, very early on. And the last thing, the one that actually sets the pace for your walk is putting on leash and harness voluntarily. That's what a lot of dog parents struggle with. And maybe you have a dog who runs away whenever you come with your harness. That doesn't have to be this way. You can teach your dog to just do these things voluntarily. And when you have accomplished that and your dog is ready to go on a walk and you are ready to go on a walk, there are things you can do on the walk to give your dog more confidence, strengthen your bond, and have fun together. And you'll see all of these in this video.